In the annals of space exploration, there are stories of heroism, triumph, and unyielding courage, but there is perhaps none more poignant, more heart-wrenching than the tale of Vladimir Komarov, a man who, fully aware of his impending doom, chose to board a doomed spacecraft to save his friend. This is not just a story of bravery, it is a story of sacrifice, of love, and of the bitter price of progress. A friendship forged in the Cold War. The story of Vladimir Komarov begins not with his tragic end, but with the bond he shared with Yuri Gagarin. In the 1960s, the space race between the United States and the Soviet Union was at its zenith. Each nation sought to outdo the other, to claim the ultimate prize, mastery of space. In the Soviet Union, two men stood at the forefront of this race, Yuri Gagarin, the first human to journey into space, and Vladimir Komarov, a seasoned pilot and cosmonaut. Komarov and Gagarin were more than just colleagues. They were close friends. They had trained together, shared the same dreams, and carried the weight of their nation's aspirations on their shoulders. The two men were inseparable, bound by the shared experience of pushing the limits of human endurance and exploring the unknown. But in the corridors of power, far from the camaraderie of these two men, decisions were being made that would seal their fates. The Soviet leadership, eager to maintain their lead in the space race, was pushing forward with the development of the Soyuz spacecraft, a new vehicle that would take cosmonauts further into space than ever before. It was a grand ambition, but one fraught with peril. The ill-fated Soyuz 1 mission. As the Soyuz program developed, it became increasingly clear that the spacecraft was far from ready. Engineers and technicians raised alarm after alarm pointing out the numerous flaws and technical issues that plagued the vehicle. The list of problems was long. Parachutes that might not deploy, electrical systems that could fail, and heat shields that might not withstand re-entry. Despite these warnings, the Soviet leadership, driven by a relentless desire to mark the anniversary of Lenin's birthday with a successful space mission, pushed ahead. The Soyuz 1 mission was scheduled to launch on April 23, 1967. The plan was ambitious. Komarov would orbit the Earth in Soyuz 1, followed by another launch the next day of Soyuz 2, carrying two more cosmonauts. The two spacecrafts would rendezvous and dock in orbit, marking a major milestone in space exploration. But there was a problem. The Soyuz 1 spacecraft was riddled with defects, and everyone, including Vladimir Komarov, knew it. A deadly decision. In the months leading up to the mission, Komarov became increasingly aware of the risks. He reviewed the technical reports, spoke with engineers, and knew that the spacecraft was a death trap. The flight would almost certainly end in disaster, but Komarov was faced with an impossible choice. If he refused to go, the backup pilot would have to take his place. That backup pilot was none other than Yuri Gagarin. Gagarin, the golden boy of the Soviet space program, was the first man in space and a national hero. The thought of sending his friend on what was almost certainly a suicide mission was unbearable to Komarov. He knew that if he declined the mission, Gagarin would be sent in his place. And so, Vladimir Komarov made the most courageous decision of his life. He chose to fly the Soyuz 1 mission, knowing full well that he might not return to save his friend. The final moments before launch. As the launch date approached, the atmosphere was tense. Komarov's colleagues and engineers were acutely aware of the dangers. Despite repeated warnings from the technical team, the Soviet leadership insisted on proceeding with the mission. The pressure to succeed to showcase Soviet technological prowess was overwhelming. Gagarin, who was deeply concerned about the mission's safety, tried to intervene. He reportedly even attempted to persuade the authorities to allow him to take Komarov's place. But Komarov was resolute. He would not let his friend board the doomed spacecraft. On the morning of April 23, 1967, as Komarov prepared to board Soyuz 1, he knew he was stepping into the unknown. The spacecraft, sitting atop the towering rocket, was a symbol of both the boundless potential of human achievement and the unforgiving nature of space exploration. As Komarov climbed into the cramped capsule, he carried with him not only the hopes of a nation, but the burden of his fateful decision. A journey into tragedy. The launch of Soyuz 1 was, at first, a success. The rocket roared to life, propelling Komarov into the skies and beyond the Earth's atmosphere. But as the spacecraft entered orbit, the flaws that had been feared began to manifest. One of the solar panels failed to deploy, severely limiting the spacecraft's power supply. 
This was just the beginning. Komarov struggled to maintain control of the vehicle, which was now spinning wildly. Communications with the ground were sporadic, and as the hours passed, it became clear that Soyuz 1 was in serious trouble. Back on Earth, the mood was one of growing despair. Engineers and mission controllers tried desperately to guide Komarov through a series of maneuvers to stabilize the spacecraft, but each attempt was met with failure. The situation was becoming increasingly dire, and it was clear that Komarov was facing a near impossible task. Yet, despite the overwhelming odds, Komarov remained calm. He communicated with the ground, providing detailed reports of the problems he was facing, and continued to fight to save the mission. But deep down, he knew that his fate was sealed. The final descent. As the mission approached its tragic conclusion, the decision was made to bring Soyuz 1 back to Earth. The spacecraft re-entered the atmosphere, hurtling toward the ground at incredible speed. The heat shield, which had been one of the many concerns, miraculously held up, allowing the capsule to survive the fiery descent. But as Soyuz 1 neared the ground, the final fatal flaw revealed itself. The main parachute, designed to slow the capsule's descent, failed to deploy properly. Komarov, hurtling toward the Earth at terminal velocity, had no chance of survival. In the moments before impact, Komarov's final words were transmitted to the ground. Some accounts claim that he cursed the engineers and officials who had sent him on this mission, while others suggest that he remained stoic until the very end. But whatever his final thoughts, one thing was clear. Vladimir Komarov had given his life to save his friend. The capsule crashed into the ground with tremendous force, leaving a smoldering crater. Komarov was killed instantly. His body, burned beyond recognition, was recovered from the wreckage. The man who had sacrificed everything for his friend was gone, but his legacy would endure. The Aftermath The death of Vladimir Komarov sent shockwaves through the Soviet Union and the world. The tragedy highlighted the dangers of space exploration and the human cost of the relentless pursuit of progress. The Soyuz program was halted and a thorough investigation was launched to determine the cause of the disaster. In the days and weeks that followed, Yuri Gagarin was devastated by the loss of his friend. He had known the risks, had tried to prevent the mission from going ahead, but in the end, he could not save Komarov. The grief weighed heavily on Gagarin, and he would never be the same again. For the Soviet space program, the death of Komarov was a stark reminder of the dangers of pushing too far, too fast. The program would eventually recover, and the Soyuz spacecraft would go on to become one of the most reliable and successful vehicles in the history of space exploration. But the memory of that fateful mission and the sacrifice of Vladimir Komarov would never be forgotten. A Hero Remembered Today, Vladimir Komarov is remembered as a hero, a man who knowingly gave his life to save his friend and advance the cause of space exploration. His story is a testament to the strength of the human spirit, the bonds of friendship and the price of progress. In the vastness of space, where the line between success and disaster is razor thin, Komarov's sacrifice stands as a symbol of the courage and determination that drives humanity to explore the unknown. He may have perished in the pursuit of the stars, but his legacy lives on, inspiring future generations of explorers to reach for the heavens. As we look to the future, to new missions and new frontiers, let us remember the sacrifice of Vladimir Komarov. Let us honor his memory by continuing to push the boundaries of what is possible, while never forgetting the risks and the costs. For in the end, it is the sacrifices of men like Komarov that make our dreams of the stars a reality. The Price of Bravery The story of Vladimir Komarov is not just a tale of space exploration, it is a story of the human condition. It is a reminder that the pursuit of greatness often comes with a heavy price, and that true bravery is not just the willingness to face danger, but the willingness to sacrifice everything for the ones we love. Komarov's decision to board Soyuz 1, knowing the almost certain outcome, is a profound act of heroism. It is a decision that transcends the bounds of duty, becoming a testament to the power of friendship and the indomitable human spirit. In the end, Komarov's sacrifice was not just for his friend, but for all of humanity, showing us that even in the face of certain death, there is something greater worth fighting for. His legacy serves as a beacon of courage, reminding us that the greatest achievements are often born from the greatest sacrifices.